You guys want to know what's in the box? I want to know what's in the box. Let's find out. Well, good morning. Greetings. Welcome again to yet another show because, hey, good, this, something showed up in the mail today. And considering where it's from, I'm imagining this is my brand new, well, actually not brand new. GH5S. This is this is uh, this is a uh, probably pre-production. I don't even know pre-production unit, early prototype. I'm not even quite sure what's in this box, but my friends at Panasonic said you can open it on air. Go ahead. So I don't know what's in here. I, as you can tell, I have not yet opened this. I don't know if it's like an actual shipping product box or if this is just a whole bunch of bubble wrap. Um, I don't. Ooh, it's a real box. Yay. Okay. Cool. It's a real box. All right. Who wants to see in the box? Let's see. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's go for the overhead shot. It's, 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 it's something in the box. All right, let's see. That was not the best packing job, I must say. <gasps> it says a Lumix G on it. Somewhere else is going to see GH5S. There it is. Look at that. Right there in the little tiny tight. Let's do it this way. Let's do that. Let's do the overhead. Let's do the, look at that. There it is. GH5S. Let's, uh, let's focus this camera, shall we? That's better. All right. Let's see what's in the box. Let's get this other camera out of the way. Let's see how one of these... There must be a, ha, that opens there, excellent. And then that probably opens like, yes, it does. Look at that, it opens like that, and then it does this, and it's a box, and you didn't know that there was a box inside of a box, and then a manual, then a manual. Yay, don't need that. And there's a thing, and a, what's it? And a black bag, it's a black bag, it's so exciting. I'm sure this is manuals and batteries, and well, let's see what kind of charger. Oh, it's got, it's got the new, looks like two chargers. I don't know if that's uh, hmm, interesting. So you got like, that one goes by a USB, no, what? Is that a USB? No, a little five volt. Oh, you get this and this and a cable. Not that, oh, that's, okay, that's the cable to do the um, SDI for the, what do you call it? The time code sync. There you go, time code sync into the PC cord. That's cool. Interesting. So I guess it's kind of like a USB and a USB-C. So I guess there's a USB charger, so you get this USB cable into this, or this USB cable into your computer, or your iPhone adapter, or whatever. Okay, well, that's interesting. But let's get to the stuff that you guys really want to see, which is probably what's in this bag here. All right, let's do it, shall we? Shall we? Let's go this way. Shall we? Shall we? Let's see. We need music. Bum, bada, bum. Bum, bum, bum. There it is. There it is. There it is. Let's go for a close-up this angle. Oh, I moved the camera. Let's see here. There she is. There it is in all of its beautiful glory. Not that anybody and everybody on the internet hasn't already seen this camera, what it looks like, but hey, I got one now, so I'm very excited. Look at that fancy red record button. Look at that. Let's see here. Let's go for the, let's change the angle of this camera a little bit here. Zoom in a little bit, and let's see here. Close up. Look at that beautiful record button. That's pretty much, I mean, it's, it's, it's the red record button, and there's the little GH5 S, let's raise that up a little bit. There we go. The uh, the S nomicker on there that tells you that it's a GH5 S word there. No, there. And the red ring. But yeah, that's, that's. I mean, that's the camera. It's uh, It looks and feels exactly like a GH5. Let's see here. So here's the G9. I know this is ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> that's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, so GH5 and GH5S, as they should look virtually totally identical. Let's do a little, little top down on here. Let's do the three of them all lined up like so. There you go, you can see all of those side by side or front to back or whatever that might be. There you go, kind of nice, kind of pretty. Let's go for like a, we can do all kinds of fun angled things with these. Let's get that off of there, make sure them all look the same there. There you go, there's your, all three of them compared. I'm sure someone will want to screenshot that and turn that into their desktop. Look at those beautiful cameras. Let's go for the close up here, we'll go for the panning view here. Can we do this? I don't know, this problem, thing probably won't really actually focus on that. It's too close. Oh, right, this is too close. I gotta get a different lens on my close-up camera so I can do closer up close-ups. Anyway, there the three of them are. So the GH5 and the GH5S, of course, looking virtually identical, except for the different colored button on there. I mean, I think physically everything else is the same, isn't it? It is, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all like totally identical all the way across as far as the button layout. The red, there's the two different red buttons there. You got the, or two different buttons. One's red, you got the ring, no red ring, red ring on there. Red ring, of course, being similar to what you have on the G9, which is kind of cool. I really like, it's, you know, it's those little things, but it's a nice little touch. I like that little red ring. Well, there you go. Well, I'm excited. Now I can finally go out and start testing for the shoot that I want to do. 
Because remember, my plan, I'm gonna, I have a whole little short film thing planned that I'm gonna do with this um, involving a blacksmith in a blacksmithing shop where it's really, really dark, rich black coal. There's not a whole lot of light in there, but then we've got that the bright fire, big dynamic range, and let the place fill up with smoke and light it, and it's gonna look so cool. We're gonna shoot it at the high ISO, and da, 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 da. it's gonna be great fun. I can't wait to shoot that, actually. And now I have the camera, I can finally put the lens on the wrong camera. I can finally go out and test that out. That's funny, I was holding up my hand going, this camera's awfully warm. The GH5S was very cold because it just came off of a truck and then I realized I had the wrong one in my hand. See, look at that, they're almost identical. Well, there you go. That's it, that's it, nice and simple. All right, what else is going on in the comments here? And then we're just gonna bail out of here. Ben Fi says, show off, there you go. I know, I know. It's kind of, it's a nice little combination. Remember folks, I am a Lumix ambassador, so that's why all this stuff gets to show up on my doorstep and I get to be very proud and pretty and get to have all these things. But uh, yes, I will hopefully do you guys proud as my audience and show you everything that these cameras can do. I will very promptly be going out and starting to work with this camera and get some awesome footage for you so that you can see what it can do. And don't forget, we're also gonna do, gonna do a comparison. Remember I did the whole show on the G, nines high resolution mode and I showed you the thing where we took a really high res picture and then scaled it down and it cut the noise basically in half and it looked fantastic at a really high ISO and then I thought ooh I wonder how that'll compare to a still image out of the GH5S at that higher ISO with the lower resolution but much better performance uh, for low light so it's gonna be interesting we'll do that somewhere down the road but we're gonna do all kinds of fun comparisons but for now it's time to get busy with the GH5S. There we go. All right, guys, that's it. That's all. I just wanted to show that to you. I wanted to open it. I'm glad that it came in a proper box so we get to see that. Um, and the interesting thing on the charger, too. Okay, see you guys later. Bye-bye.